So I'll, I'll just do a pretty brief overview. I'll use one of my previous videos just to have a reference point. But I've received a few comments asking about my add-ons. So I'll just go over the, the more prominent ones and important ones and... I guess more. Uh, I guess slightly more specific to priest, but let's go into combat. Let's have a look. And now I missed. Let's mute that. We don't need that. Actually, there is there is a nice one that I'll go over quickly. But um, so first off is this is plate profile. So the the name the name plates and everything. This is a plate profile, and the profile itself is from Quasi. And you could find it just like this. You just download it from here. Um, yeah. So Quasi is a content creator for this game, and he he does a lot of dungeon guides. Um, I, well, he did in the first couple of the seasons. I'm not. I haven't really seen if he uh, if he's still uploading, but I've been using his plate profile since then. It's been it's been very nice. Um, it highlights particular mobs. So the blue, the blue ones are, typ are typically less important, light blue, and then purple are they're the high prior ones. And also there's a little color coordination. But you can see if if you want to know how it all like how everything works and it lines up, then you've got he's got a pretty in depth guide into it so it'll tell you like certain casts here so orange that that just means it can't be interrupted and except cc'd and then there are some that's like gray like like explosion so it can't even though it's not important anymore it's it can't be cc'd and it can't be interrupted so it's just you gotta take it so it's like telling you to press a defensive essentially let's see um so you got interrupt all that. It's not as important, but you see, uh, I mean, this is a bit messy. It's a bit, I've, I've had to fix this a little bit, but it's important for some people, like as a shadow priest. So right here, I'm watching, well, this is just a fire mage and this is an org evoker. So it's, it's not important for this one as such, but you see a combustion timer. So if there was like a devastation evoker and a fire or like a warlock and a fire, you would PI the Warlock, but then the next time you go to PI, you can quickly check and see if their cooldown is available. So that, and then, so it, it's just like, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit of min-maxing. It, it's not too important. Typically, you can just put on one person and leave it, but that's called Omni CC. I, I will, um, I will link the add-ons in the description. But yeah, so that's like it's like Omni CC and Omni C D and those are a bit of a package. And let's go to a boss fight. Cause one that's very nice. I, I think um before I before I started using this vertical bar. Like cause you have the bar on the left here. The the bars, that's for that's from DBM or Big Wigs. That like me as a player, I just don't Acknowledge this. This doesn't do much for me. Like the the layout, I guess. So the second I got this, was amazing. Um, it's it's very visual. It's very clear what's coming in when it's coming in. It it's hard to miss. You can make it bigger as well if you need to. If you feel like sometimes mechanics go over um, unnoticed. But this one, let me quickly check what it's called. Like I said, I'll. It is, it is this one, yeah. So big wigs or DBM timeline, but like I said, I'll, I'll put it up here, but I'll I'll leave a little link in the description for everything I've mentioned. So the the action bars here, which I quite like, it's good for utilities. Um. I kind of just threw this together one day, and it and I've kind of not I've not really stopped, but. If you're interested, that's just edit mode. You just go, you just go into edit mode. Oh, hello, Melancholia. Um, so you just go into edit mode, and 
you just set up bar, set up the columns to two, make it vertical, and then yeah, and then you just fucking you just minimize it, send it down to the sides. It's much nicer. It's it's better than having like bars up here and stuff, and it doesn't get in the way, really. This bar here is quartz. It's pretty common. Uh, it's a pretty well known add-on. It's been around for years now, but amongst like putting timers on a lot of things like this, I believe this is quartz as well. A timer here, and I mean you can have it for everything. You can have a different bar for the enemy cast and move it somewhere. It's nice. But each little tick represents when the damage will come in. So if you have to move, if you know you're going to have to move in like two seconds and you're not going to be able to finish the whole cast, then, you like, like hear it as it is right now. Like, if, you're about, if you've got a swirly underneath you and you're here on the cast, as soon as it gets there, you can run. And you'll get the damage off for that at the very least. It's, it's a little... It's a bit helpful. It's nice. But it also shows you your MS as well. You're like, yeah, you're just in-game latency, which... <laughs> you're like, why am I lagging? And then you got that. So, you know, before you realise. Um, what else do we have? So, Shadowed Unit Frames is the... Let me... So, it's called Shadowed Unit Frames. I'll, I'll I'll even mention that one as well. Um, so that's for the n that's for the nameplate here. So this one, so my my name, their name, the party frames. That's for that. Um, I also grabbed a weak aura for as well. Which let me. The weak aura is called. So there is a couple of weak auras that you might want as well. That I could, I could go over, but I'll do that in a second. That's, but yeah, shadowed unit frames. It's very customizable. It's nice. Um, most people like it's like you kind of go for that, or you go for like LVI. And I've never really gotten on with LVI. I, it was never really my, my favorite. So I just opted for the, a bit of the easier one, more more plug and play. You don't have to spend a long time. Going through stuff. Like you're going through all the options and making it pristine. That's that's not me. That's um. I'm trying to f think. I think other than like you got, I got. I mean, little trinket tracker. It's it's nice. If you if you're running spoils of the forest, this is definitely nice because your void form is such a large window anyway. You don't have to press power infusion at the very beginning. You might want to, but you don't have to. Um. So if you're if you're going into a boss fight with bloodlust, then if you if you see this and you see it says haste, wait, I can I can show what it looks like off cooldown. Oh, I can't. It's always on cooldown. But um, it 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 show like it displays as the color of the buff. But if you're going into a, a boss fight with bloodlust and this is gonna proc haste, that's gonna be very bad. It's gonna, you're gonna get very little value out of the trinket. But if you just pop void form, you just go as you would, and then you see, you see that it's mastery or verse during blood dust. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot more impactful. I do have, I have macroed my power infusion and my trinket together. It's makes it a bit easier. There, there are times when I wish I hadn't, but ninety five percent of the time, it's it's very chill. Yeah, no problem, Melancholy. I'll uh, help you out in just a moment. I'm, I'm just doing a little video for for YouTube. But okay, that, I think that's for the most part the important stuff. Let's go over here. Um, Yeah, so I mean, this one's nice. It, it's I kind of mm, I'm not really too sure about this. I'm not. I'm gonna ignore this one. I don't think it's it's not too important. But Mythic Plus spell CDs on nameplates. It says Shadowlands in the title, but it's it's updated. Um, 
I think. Let me check. Let me check. It's got all the dungeons I want on it. Yeah, there's more underneath. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so this will show the timer. So on nameplates, I'll go back. Did I have it installed on this one at the time? Because I, I've changed setup, so I had to reinstall stuff and remember as I'm playing. But so you see a timer here. Most abilities, like most enemies, you know, they've got they've got an internal cooldown on their abilities. Like their big ability might be like 15 second cooldown, and this. This tells you when it's coming in, so you, you kind of just know when to press defensive or to hold your interrupt, or just it just helps get a bit bit of a better understanding of what's going on. So you can you can make you can make better decisions. Oh, I'm moving this. Oops. Um, the the main shadow display is from public. I do modify it ever so slightly, but this one is, for the most part, um, for the most part, kept as it is. So you'll see it as, as I see it. Yeah, spoils of Nefarious. Because targeted spells is very good. So this, this is one of the harder ones. To, like whenever you hear the little ping ping on on my stream or my YouTube video. That's this. Whenever there's a spell going off. So like Oh yeah, so that's one thing that the plater does. So with the plater profile you see what the enemy's casting and who it's casting at. So if you if you it takes a bit of getting used to, but if you can you'll see that the, like it's targeting a tank. So in that like one and a half second that you have to interrupt or two seconds that you have to interrupt the spell, you just if you just quickly check the colour, like if it's like a demon hunter, it's always a demon hunter at the moment, you just see it's purple, who it's targeting, you can kind of leave it for the most part. You don't have to interrupt it. But then if you see it's white, like you're a priest, you're like, oh you know it's coming towards you, you you know to interrupt that. Or just even on a squishy, or even on like it's just it, it it, it, it's not the easiest to use and to utilize, but you will find that on occasion you're like, oh, I, just, I might have just saved that person's life because they were low and there was an, and there was a spell going towards them and it was uninterrupted, and you you've just saved them. Like, that's really nice. It's really good to do that. And then yeah, you'll you'll get used to it, and then that'll start happening a bit more often. And then all of a sudden people will be calling you a Chad, and it feels nice. <laughs> it's good to be called a Chad. Um. What? What else was? It? Oh yeah. So and also like that goes for you, yourself as well, right? You with that weak aura, you've got the targeted spells. So you hear a little, you hear a little audio cue when something's gonna, when something has targeted you. And if you're low, like, say, say it's kind of in towards the end of the pack or like middle of the pack when most of your CC has been used, most of your group CC has been used. That's coming in, or even if it's like a high level and shit's gonna one shot, and you can't interrupt it, you can't CC that mob. You just, um, you know, to press dispersion if you're low, like if you're like mid. It, yeah, I mean, you'll 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 figure out when best to use it, but it, it, even though it can be slightly annoying getting all the little sounds, it, it can certainly save you, absolutely save you. So I I rate it quite high. I think for the most, I think that's it. I think that's, um, I don't know if there's too much, but so with the shadowed unit frames, just quickly, like, is it? Wait, no, it's plater, isn't it? Yeah, so with the plater, what I've done is I've, I've assigned the dots to go to the left of the target. It's much easier for figuring out who's it. Typically, it's on the right side. It's defaulted to the right or above. And when they're stacking, if it's above, it's it's like, ah, oh, there's so much room to... It's a, it's a bit harder to pick out the ones that aren't dotted. 
that, I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna do a little bit more on it. Actually, I think there's a bit too much. Just after seeing that video right then, there's a bit too much space between. But yeah, I think um, I think that's everything for them. That's everything I'm using at the moment. But let me know your thoughts and if you have any questions, and I'll try to get to you as soon as.